boys and girls to the Lab Online Preschool Experience. It's me, Pastor Danae, and I am so glad that you joined us. I just thought that I really wanted to tell you something very important today. Did you know that God just loves you so much? No matter what's happening around us, no matter if it's a really great day or a really bad day, whether we've been extra good or we've maybe made some choices that we regret, God loves you so much. And I just wanted to make sure that you knew that. Well, this month we are starting a new theme. We are talking about some really cool guys with some really cool sounding names. We're talking about Elijah and Elisha. Can you say those with me? Elijah and Elisha. And along with that, we have a brand new memory verse. Let's go learn it together. All right, let's do our memory verse together, guys. So do the actions with me. Set your mind on things above and not on earthly things. Colossians 3, verse 2. All right, can we do that one more time? Okay, so set your mind on things above and not on earthly things. Colossians 3, verse 2. Awesome. Great job with your memory verse, boys and girls. Well, I am so excited for you to hear all of these awesome stories about Elijah and Elisha and all that God did through them. So let's go check out our Bible story together. You guys know me as Callie, but today, I'm not just Callie, pilot of Sky Rider 11, a spaceship with a mission to explore the far reaches of the galaxy. Check out my super cool helmet. And I'm working on my spaceship. Look, this is the Sky Rider 11. You want to come inside? Let's go. Engines, check. Rocket fuel, check. Command center, we are ready for takeoff in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, ah, come on! Maybe dreaming for something that big was kind of silly. Maybe our Bible story for today can help. It's time for today's Bible story. It comes from the book of 2 Kings, chapter 2 and chapter 6. This story is about two guys with very similar names, Elijah and Elisha. Elijah was the older of the two men. In Elijah's lifetime, God had used him to do many amazing things that helped people believe in God and know how powerful God was. One time, he asked God to bring fire down from heaven, and it happened. Elisha was Elijah's student. That meant he wanted to learn how to do what Elijah did. He wanted to be like him so that God would use him in powerful ways too. This was Elisha's dream, and it was a big one. One day, Elijah told Elisha that God wanted him to go to a place called Bethel. He told Elisha, to stay where they were while he went alone. But Elisha wouldn't leave him. He knew that to make his dream come true, he had to stay by Elijah's side always. So they went to Bethel together. Another time, Elijah told Elisha that God wanted him to go to the Jordan River. Just like before, he told Elisha to stay there while he went alone. But Elisha wouldn't leave Elijah's side. When they got to the Jordan River, Elijah did something amazing. He took off his coat and hit the water. The water parted so that Elijah and Elisha could walk right through on dry ground. Soon afterward, it was time for Elijah to go up to heaven. He asked Elisha what he could do for him before he went. Elisha said that he wanted to be used by God in powerful ways too, just like Elijah had been, but twice as much. 
This was a big dream to have. Elijah said that if Elisha saw Elijah go up to heaven, then his big dream would come true. Sure enough, Elisha was right beside Elijah, like he always was, when a fiery chariot came and took Elijah to heaven. Elisha saw the whole thing. After that, he took Elijah's coat, which he left behind, and hit the water of the Jordan River with it, just like Elijah had. The water parted in the same way it had before. Elisha knew at that moment that his big dream to be used by God in powerful ways had come true. What Elisha also knew was, I can dream big with God. That Bible story was awesome. I was talking to my mom about my big dream to go into space. And guess what? She said it isn't silly. There are actually people that do it. They are called astronauts. And if I work really hard, I can be one. Even cooler than that, my mom said that I could be anything. She said that if I stay close to God, then God will use me in powerful ways too. No matter what I dream of being. Oh, and she helped me make a new and improved dog-proof Sky Rider 11. <laughs> so, engines, check. Jet fuel, check. Dog force field, check. Ready for countdown to blast off in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Blast off! Sky Rider 11 is up, up and away! Thanks for learning and growing with me. Remember our big idea for the day. I can dream big with God! Bye! Whoa! Boys and girls, did you see all of the crazy, amazing things that God did in that story? I mean, he had done like a bajillion miracles through Elijah, and then he had him taken up to heaven, up on a cloud, and he had groups of prophets. Prophets are just people who hear God's messages and tell them to other people. And the prophets knew all sorts of things about the things that were gonna happen in the future and things that had already happened. We have such an amazing God who can do such amazing things. And then Elisha, he asked for something special. Do you remember what it was? He asked if God would give him a special blessing just like Elijah had had, only twice as much. Elisha knew that God could do so many crazy, miraculous, amazing things, and he wanted God to use him to do those things. Now, can I tell you something? God can do really crazy cool things through you too. When we walk with God, when we know how awesome he is and how much he loves us, God can use us to do his amazing work. We can dream big when we dream with God. How cool is that? Do you think that God might want to try and do something awesome in your life? Maybe share who he is with somebody who doesn't know him yet. Maybe some of you will grow up to be pastors or missionaries. Maybe some of you will grow up to be doctors or people who are excellent neighbors who tell people all about who God is. I know that God has a special plan for each of you. And when we trust him and when we know him, he can do awesome things. So let's pray together, okay? And ask if God can show us what he might want to dream in our lives. Put our hands together and close our eyes and let's pray. Father God, you are so big and you're so awesome and you do so many amazing things and you love each and every one of these kiddos. So God, I just pray that you would help us to dream big dreams with you because you are so awesome. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, thank you so much, boys and girls, for coming today. I hope that you have an awesome week. And more than anything, I hope that you know how awesome God is and that he loves you and that we can dream big dreams when we dream with him. Bye. Superhero, jump up and shout. Hey! Stand up and shout.